Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Carlisle. I'm sat in the new Toyota GR86 and next to me is an old Toyota Supra Mark IV with the 2JZ engine in it. And we're going to have a drag race to see which is quickest over the standing quarter mile. And I've got a guest driver with me today. It's Ben Collins, who was formerly the Stig on Top Gear. So Ben, how are you? Well, I'm good. I was just taking a trip down memory lane. The last time I was in one of these Toyota Supras, about 25 years ago, and I wrapped it around the grill of a 12 ton truck. On a country lane. But it's nice to be back in the old girl. What? First of all, I'm not going to comment on your line of it's nice to be back inside the old girl. What happened? Did you have a Supra and you just binned it? It's the dumbest thing I've ever done in a car. But yeah, I was going too fast and uh, ended up on a load of mud. And that was that. The next thing, into a truck. If I'd looked after it a bit better, mine might have been as worth as much as this is. This car's now worth 60 grand. New, I think it's about 26. 60,000 pounds. Quite a lot, really. Um, it's worth twice this. This new is like 30,000 pounds. And that brings me on to the stats. So this GR86 has a 2.4 litre four cylinder boxer engine, puts out 234 horsepower and 250 Newton meters of torque. It drives the rear wheels via a six speed manual gearbox. This car weighs in at 1,274 kilos. Give me the stats on your Supra. I think they're a bit more impressive than this car's. Yep, this one's three litre turbocharged. It's quite sweet actually, you can hear it whistling away the turbo. 326 horsepower, but it has got quite a lot of torque. Six speed manual gearbox, weighs just under one and a half tons. Rear wheel drive, you just can't beat it. Do you think you're gonna beat me? You've got more power, your car's slightly heavier. You've got more skill. Apparently, we'll find out actually in a moment. That is a lot older. It's 30 years older. If I can't beat you in this car, honestly, I don't think I could ever show my face on this airfield again. Hmm. We're going to find out though. Before we race, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. You don't want to miss an upload because we've got some epic drag races coming. You will not believe what we've got in store for you. Okay, let's do this. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now, before we race, let's do the customary car wow sound check. So I'm going to rev up this car and see if it sounds better than that Supra. So here we go. Sounding pretty good. All right, Ben, let's have a listen to your three litre turbo engine. Not gonna lie, that sounds better. Yeah, it's meaty and it's mighty. You'll be hearing a lot more of it in a minute when the exhaust gets in front of you. Uh. All right. Now, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can now do it through CarWow. To do that, just click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below. All you have to do is upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then dealers all over the country will bid on your car, and then you just pick the highest offer, they'll come to your house, take the car away, and put the money in your account. It's simple and completely free. If you want to do that at a later date, or if you want to tell your friends and family to do it, all you have to do is Google Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car. I wonder if Carwo can help me win this drag race. Come on, Carwo, help me win this drag race. Let's go. Come on, old girl. You got this. Three, two, one. Oh, what? <laughs> I just destroyed him. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, there's all that talk about, you know, I'd hear your exhaust because it would be in front of me. It's only now just in front of me. What happened, Ben? Well, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's not an explanation. I'm so upset with that. This has got so much more power. I know what this car is like, and you can get horrific wheel spin. So I left the traction control on, feathered the power, feathered the clutch, and it just spun its wheels ruthlessly and relentlessly. Would you like another go? Yes, please. I would like another one. I mean, you are in a rocket ship. That thing is a known quantity. The strategy, my strategy for launching this in the wet, is to just do it like you did in hill start, hold it on the handbrake, just find the bite point, and just accelerate away. Don't try and do anything clever by like dumping the clutch, because if it's wet, it'll just spin up its wheels. Maybe you should just try the same thing. Thanks for the lesson, Matt. I'll give it a go. Never thought I'd be giving the Stig a driving lesson. Especially not in launching in a manual car, but... Three, two, one. Great launch again. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, he's closer this time. He's pulling away even when I've got no wheel spin. It's not really pulling me back in. It just doesn't make any sense. Was that better for you, Ben? Now, I've had a thought. It's possible because I'm starting in the middle of the runway where the planes land. I reckon I'm, it's more grease on the surface from the Avgas. That could be part of my problem. Ooh, I don't think any planes have landed here for years. <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> to be fair, that's about as good a start as I can make. And I got a fraction of wheel spin. But even when that stops, your car just edges away. So it's, uh, it's interesting. So this maybe doesn't have as much power as it says it does. And yours maybe has more power than stated. Do you reckon anything to do with driver skill, maybe? No? Let's switch cars and find out. Oh, I don't know if I want to. So then what exactly happened? Well, the GR86 won, completing the standing quarter mile in 14.8 seconds. The Super Talk, 15.3 seconds. I'll tell you what we'll do now, Ben, because of, you know, the aviation gas that's been left there by the planes from God knows how long ago. Yeah. You know, it's an older car and insert racing driver excuse here. What we'll do, we'll take that initial like, dig out of the equation. We'll do a rolling race over the quarter mile in first gear. So we'll just poodle along and then we'll get started and then we'll see what happens. How does that sound? Yes. And then I think there's a good chance I have you at that point. I'm still not sure because you weren't reeling me in even when you got traction. But let's find out. Get level, Benjamin. Don't cheat. Can't see. Oh, I cheated. Sorry, um, I was very, very premature. Story of my life. Here we go. Come on. It's close. Damn it. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's such a knob. I still won that, Ben. You did? You won it? You and the car, you're obviously bonding very nicely. I know which one I prefer to take home. But that thing is a real rocket. You're doing well. It is. It's quicker than you would think it is. It's so much quicker than the old GT86. Really impressed with it. The annoying thing with this car, as much as I love it, is that that turbo, when it spools in, it just makes the wheels spin. So even in first with a rolling start, it lights up the tail. It just loses that bit of momentum and it just never has the grunt to get it back. I think you're talking to me and probably saying some things like, Matt, you're awesome, your driving is amazing. I wish that I could drive as well as you. And if I could have driven as well as you, then maybe I would have made it as a Formula One driver. I heard the last few words and I can't tell if it was a compliment or an insult. So I'll, I'll just go with the one that feels best. That's what I do as well. It's just better overall, isn't it, for your peace of mind. Now we're going for another rolling race. This time over a half mile, we're going to do in second gear from 30 miles an hour. So there's 30. I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Come on, Turbo! Oh, he's gaining now! Yes! Yes! There, he's got me now! <laughs> See ya! Bye-bye, Super Up. Are you feeling a little bit better about your life now, Ben? That felt much better. Did you finally get to hear the exhaust? No, because this makes a racket on the inside, actually. There's loads of induction. And I could also just hear the blood rushing in my ears as you went past me. I think it might have been my scream. The war cry there was fairly loud. I'm 
I'm very happy about that. It is lovely. Once it gets its legs in second, you hear the whoosh of the turbo and off you go. Well, things are about to get even better for you, Ben, in this next challenge. But before we move on to it, haven't you just got a new YouTube channel? I do. I'm on Ben Collins Drives. It's getting there. Reviewing some cool cars, so I'm having a lot of fun with that. Go check that out. There's a link in the description. Go follow him over there. I'll probably appear on his channel doing something stupid rather than doing something stupid here. Well, I'm everywhere doing something stupid. Generally, wherever I am, there's stupidity. You're loving it in there, aren't you? I can just tell, looking at you. You're in there like James Bond, prowling the airfield. Uh, just living the dream. I do love this car, and I would buy one if I could get one, but they're all sold out. Okay, Ben, because I like you, not only am I going to shout out your YouTube channel, but I'm also going to do a rolling race from 50 miles an hour in third gear, so that should stack the odds greatly in your favour. I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, go. Great throttle response on this. Hi. And gear shift is on. Bang! It's so fast. But he has absolutely destroyed me. Oh yeah. Enjoy the moment and let her run. We just didn't stop, I just realised the half mile was ages ago. Third gear, your turbo spooled up, you just smashed me. Yeah, this thing's just, that's its element. Third gear, no element of wheel spin, the turbo's just whoosh, off you go. So I started off this video by being very happy about smashing you completely in the drag race. Then things got closer and now things have turned in your favour. So let's move on to the final challenge. Maybe I can pull something back. Finally then we come to the brake test. We're gonna see which of these car stops in the shortest distance from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Which will win? Now if you'd rather watch another drag race featuring a Mark IV Supra plus the current Supra 3 litre and the 2 litre, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. If not, stay with me for the brake test. I think I'm gonna put my radio down. Here we go, let's get to 100. Come on, new car. Line coming now. Freaking hell. That's frightening. That is, uh, oh God. This stops really well, so well. <laughs> My radio's all the way down here. Not surprising. Oh dear, Ben. Oh dear very much. Yeah, well, I mean, it weighs more, although that shouldn't make a difference, but I think it does a bit in the wet, doesn't it? What can you say? New technology. You've got a much better system on that. Although I will say, it's quite nice having ABS on one of these. Mine didn't have it, so um, it, it stopped better than what I was used to. So, yours was even worse than that. No wonder you crashed into a truck. Yes, and my brakes are smoking a little bit. How about yours? No, these will be fine. Um, by the way, huge thanks to Ross for sorting us out these cars. Thanks, Ross. His Instagram link, that is in the description. Big thanks to you, Ross. Cheers, mate. Actually, go over to Ross's account and just say thanks as well to show your appreciation. We'll take this home. It's too cool. If you're looking for a sporty car, but you need something a little bit more practical than these, I found one through Carwow. If you want to see what the car is and what the saving is through Carwow, click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, did, if you did, did it like English speak, Matt? No. Anyway, just write some things, like some things, click on some window things and click a box thing. It'll make me happy. And I'll probably stop talking gibberish. Sometimes you should just shut up. I don't seem to have that facility.